All right, so a gamer notices that his accuracy drops every time he starts live streaming. Why is that? It's because he was a little twitchy. Welcome back to Apoc Gaming. I'm Fallen Frog. This week we're going to be talking about Twitch extensions. These are part of a brand new update that just hit Twitch at the beginning of the month. And these are new interactive panels that you could place over your video while you're streaming. Or you can have them living underneath your video with the rest of your Twitch panels. And they just offer different things that your viewers can do to interact with the stream. You can have specific panels set up to show the stats in a specific game you're playing. You can have little interactive emote pets that your viewers can click on. Sort of like a Tamagotchi or a Giga Pet, you know, something like that, I don't know. I've actually got one of those living on my stream right now and just trying to see what it's like. Really, anybody can make an extension, so as time goes on, we're going to see all kinds of different little extensions that you can install, start running on your stream just to add extra bells and whistles. To give you an idea of what to expect and show you how to get these set up, you're going to want to go to your Twitch dashboard, and over on the left, you'll now see an option for Extensions Manager. Over on my channel, I've got Porcupine's Kappa Pet installed. It's the Giga Pet thing I was telling you about earlier. And then I also have the Streamlabs extension, which is a loyalty system, sort of like DeepBot, which I did a video about almost a year ago. Pretty much the same thing, but now it's directly on the video, so users can click and see how many points they have. They can spend their points just right there through a series of options. We've also got all the available extensions, different things like leaderboards and overlays, emote reaction. If you're a Twitch partner or affiliate, you can also sell gear on Amazon. Your users can click right there directly in your panel and start shopping. They don't have to, you know, leave the stream. It's really just a bunch of neat little third-party applications to enhance the viewing experience. Just using the gear on Amazon as an example, it's easy to get set up. Once you click install, it's installed successfully. And then once on our configure page, you'll see all the different options for how you want to set the extension up. Gear by Amazon was a bad example for me to choose because I'm not a Twitch partner or affiliate yet, so I really can't use it. But it's okay because it's not even activated yet anyway. I really just enabled it because I wanted to show you guys how to activate your extensions as well. Once you install them, you have to activate them. Otherwise, nothing's going to show up. It's not going to work. We can set it as extension panel 1 or we can add it as a new panel. So we will go ahead and add it as a new panel now. It's extension panel 2. We're done. And now if we come over to my page, we can see I've got the gear on Amazon panel located right here. Of course, I'm not an affiliate or a partner, so I don't have any gear to offer. But we can see it showed up and it worked. To get rid of an extension, it's just as easy. You can just click on deactivate. You can also click the trash can to uninstall it. Some of these extensions are going to have different options you can customize. If we go into the configure tab for the Streamlabs, you can see I can turn on polls and giveaways, song requests, mini games and loyalty points. I can also change the menu icon. This is actually what shows up on the video when the user hovers their mouse over. The frog icon will show up. And they can click on it and it brings up the whole menu for the Streamlabs bot. One of the mini games the Streamlabs bot offers is this treasure chest game where treasure chests will just pop up randomly. You can make that whatever image you want. I chose the treasure chest from Super Mario Bros. 3 on the Super Nintendo. And then you have some options to change the size and then the different colors of your menu. Now for the Streamlabs app, that's just really scratching the surface of what you can do. If you go over to your Streamlabs dashboard, you also have a ton more options to go through. If you go over to the Streamlabs dashboard itself, once again on the left hand side, you can go down to the community and growth section and you'll find Twitch extensions. Overlays and loyalty is the only extension they have so far. I can imagine Streamlabs might be planning some other extensions in the future, but here you've got some more customization options. You've got a list of all the users who have earned points with the bot. You can go in and adjust the score by adding points. You can also set up different rewards that people can use their points on, things like you know Twitter follow, uh, follow me on Twitch, ask a question, truth or dare. Uh, right behind my camera is a create new reward button. Over on the games tab, that's where you've got some settings for the treasure chest game I told you about earlier. And then point settings, you can name your points and you can change how frequently those are earned. You can even have users get points every time they give you a donation. Real quick, just because I have it on my page, I'll show you the Kappa Pet as well. I'm not currently live right now, so the pet is technically asleep, but you'll notice if I move the mouse around, he follows it around. You can click on it to show him some love. That's what you want your viewers to do as well, to keep your pet happy. But just a little random doodad. Now with the Streamlabs extension and then any of the other video overlay extensions, you won't be able to see those unless the channel is live. Just to show you what it's like in action, here's some footage from a previous stream I did where I was actually showing off the overlay. 
You can see when you click on the frog icon, you just get some different options that show up. Song request, pull songs from SoundCloud. You can actually search those right there in the window. You can spend points on a card game, pick a card, and then you've also got little scratcher cards where you choose six boxes. These are actually a lot of fun. I, I spend a lot of time doing the scratcher cards uh, when I'm on loading screens and things like that. It's just a nice little way to pass the time. So like I said earlier, these are brand new. Twitch just rolled these out at the beginning of the month. So expect more changes as uh, you know more feedback comes in and people are you know have a chance to play with these and see what works and what doesn't. And if you're using Twitch extensions yourself, you know, let us know your thoughts about it. What is, what's your feedback? What do you what do you like? What do you dislike? Which ones are you using? If you want to see last week's video where I showed you guys how to render a transparent video in After Effects, that's another technique I use to make the Hapa Gaming intro we're using now. It's also handy if you want to do like a lower thirds. Be, just, be sure to subscribe to Hapa because I put out new videos for them every week. If you want to see some more of my stuff, you can click over there. You can click the frog over there. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we will see you next week.